Hey everybody, Hitman here. I'm standing in front of my new Sea Eagle Sport Runabout. But what I wanted to show you first was uh, several people have been asking me how I uh, made my motor mount for the Sea Eagle Cat. So uh, this would be the first one that goes across the pontoon on the Sea Eagle. what I designed. Uh, it's made out of aluminum and then powder coated. But what you do is drill a couple of holes in the strut and then you use uh, the quick nuts that Sea Eagle supplies. Plastic uh, black screw on. And now you mount your motor way out here and that gives the use of your uh, seat or your step stand or whatever gives you that much room on the boat. You can use this in the bow or the stern and it works like a charm. I really like it. Let's take a look at the sport runabout. Uh, I've done a lot to it. Mounted an electric motor, made a bracket for the side. I hung the anchor here. The ropes help support it and then the rod is through the handle. It's it's solid, it's not going anywhere, and it's not stressing the boat out. This is my custom rod tower. extinguisher, spotlight, extra paddle, got my rod on the top. Back here I got my stern light mounted up nice and high. Over here I have a scale. Right here I have a uh, pump in case we get water in the boat. Seagull made a my rope here, an extra rope, and uh, let's take a look at how I mounted the fish finder. A lot of people ask how I how to mount a fish finder. Um, let's see what I've done here. Okay, right here is where I mounted my Hummingbird 597 CI. I have uh, a lot of this stuff, so I'm lucky when it comes to that. When I'm rigging up a boat, I have something to put on it, but this is nice. This is a GPS, and you can use it for navigation and depth and to find fish. But when you mount it on your inflatable, first of all, you don't, you don't want to add it mounts and accessories if you don't have to you want to try to work off something that's on the boat already so what I've done here is I have velcro in the front and when I when I put velcro on the boats I put the uh, soft piece on the boat because that won't grab line and material and get all gummed up on you you put the uh, rough Velcro side on your piece and that that holds that holds in waves and everything else so what I've done on the back 
I just twist tied it or zip tied it to two existing grommets that were already on this boat. So there, you got it. You can turn it any way. It's perfect. And it's, you know, it's stable. It works great. I can take it off easy. Anything. Um, while we're here, I don't know if you can see this, but... <clears throat> Velcro. And uh, these lights, they're really nice. LED. The front will also be a flashlight on these. You can find them at any hardware store. They're waterproof to a, some degree. I, I bring them in when it, you know, at night or when it's going to rain. But I have one on each side of the boat for additional lighting. I have my spotlight also on the rod rack. Let's see what else I did. Carry my aqua view for uh, underwater inspections of drop-offs and structure, looking for fish in good places. We can do a quick walk around. This is the same trailer that I use for the bolt cat. Here you can see what I've done for my uh, electric of a, it's for a ladder extension when you put it against the house. I have one laying around, so I cut it. I use the same bolt system that I use for my rod tower. And then again over here, I used Sea Eagle's grommets and some